Okay. Okay. Hello. I'm back because I'm bored and I don't have a job. And no, I'm just kidding. I do have a job, but I'm not active. I'm an active employee. Anyways, I'm back only because um I found out some new information. Cause um um okay so. I know in one of my last previous videos, I was talking about having um, the hip, the ball of socket pain or whatever, and not because of my reading, but, well, I read somewhere that it was because um, your uterus is growing, and so your your um, bones are moving out to support it, but it's also getting ready to accommodate for the birth in the baby when it drops and everything, and it's really painful, which I think I already said this before. It's really painful, and um, it's not okay. Let me stop lying. It's not painful, painful, but it hurts. Like you're not gonna just get up and be like, "Oh yeah, that's my, that's my hip joint." <laughs> no, it's it hurts, and um, I can't sleep in the bed. But anyways, I already talked about this in the last video, so I'm not gonna be repeating myself. It's sounding stupid, but um. Also, like, um, I, my belly's been kind of itchy, but that's normal, too, because everything's stretching, and I don't have any stretch marks on my belly, and I can show you my belly, but you guys already seen it, but I have stretch marks on my hips, but that's only because, um, I was, at one point in time, I was skinny, and then I gained weight, and then I gained stretch marks, or, yeah, gained stretch marks. Um, so that's where those are from. Those are old. But as far as on my belly and everything and my boobs, I don't have them. Um, um, what else? I do, I have like, I had some more energy today. Like I cleaned my kitchen and cooked and stuff. Um, so I'm like excited about that. But I'm also, I was sleepy yesterday. I slept all day yesterday and I'm kind of on a third shift schedule with my husband working um third shift and so I'm on like his schedule but I went to bed late last night and was it like yeah it was last night and yesterday night but as so when he comes home we woke up at the same time the last two days and um yeah I need to like do something about that but um but yeah I couldn't s sleep um when, when we get home when I pick them up, cause like, okay, we were in Tennessee, we had a king size bed, okay, and before, you know, my, the bed we have now is a queen size, and before we went to Tennessee, we, it worked out fine, you know, we knew our boundaries, we knew, it wasn't too small for us, it wasn't cramped, but now, it's like, oh my god, we need a bigger bed, cause we were just so used to, um, like, um, sleeping in a king size bed, that I feel like I have something on my lips. <laughs> Sorry. We were um we got to sleep in the big bed that um that when we came back to our bed it was like we don't have enough room like at all. Especially with me tossing and turning and sliding down in bed and sliding up in bed and just trying to get comfortable and um but also I wanted to say I don't wanna make this video ten minutes but um I also wanted to say the other day like, I was laying down, I had got up, and I was on the phone or whatever, and I laid back down, and I could feel when the baby's, like, in the, f or his body or whatever is in, like, the forefront of my uter my stomach, like, the lower part here, and, um, it's so funny, because, the, uh, well, it's funny to me, because, you know, I haven't felt him kicking, haven't felt him kick or move yet, so it's, you know, and anything I feel is just like makes me laugh because it's so different. But anyway, so I could feel where he was at, and so I'm like, I couldn't go to sleep. So I'm like poking him, and you know, he wasn't moving, and I'm like trying to see how long he was by like just going like this, like in my stomach, just poking, not real hard, but just you know, lightly or whatever. And this baby would not move, so I was like, okay. Then 
he finally did move, but he went to the other side of my stomach. And when I'm sleeping at night, I I know which side he's on as far as like where he's at in my stomach because, um, because um, yeah, when I try to lay down and stuff, like I if I lay on one side, it's like it kind of hurts or whatever or feel uncomfortable. And so yeah, I know which side he's on based on how it makes me feel and. So yeah, so he moved to his other side, and so I was poking him then, and then he must have moved or something, cause I went, I fell asleep after that. I don't even know if he moved, but I was like that tired. But I woke up and I was um, still sleepy, like I slept till one. Woke up, I tried to stay up as long as I can, and I went right back to bed. It's ridiculous. Um, and then that night I slept till like three, four o'clock in the morning. But I'm about to go to bed now because it's like 10.38. Actually, I'm not because I'm waiting on my husband to call me back. But, um, but yeah. So, I'm still feeling growing pains and everything. But I just wanted to share that piece of information and tell my little story about me playing with my baby. Um, or whatever. Before I went to bed. And that's it. I can't wait till he gets here. Like, I keep watching YouTube videos with everybody. Like... Um, progressing in their pregnancy and then they have their baby and then their baby's there and it's like oh it's so cute like can't wait um, but yeah so I don't know I'll still update on Monday and um, let you guys know if I'm having a boy or a girl hopefully it's a boy but if not we'll still be happy um, so yeah so I'll talk to y'all on Monday Unless I have, like, something else I want to say. Because I'm really bored. Like, there's something for me to do. But, alright. So, I'll take that back. There is stuff for me to do. But, whatever. Anyways, talk to you guys later. Bye.